All right, it's card of the day, and this is card number 187, titled 3PO and Friend. Well, let's learn about 3PO's friend, U-3PO. U-3PO was a 3PO series protocol droid created by Cybot Galactica, which dominated the market in non-military droids, especially protocol droids. Almost all major and minor Republic and Imperial worlds had at least one Cybot sales and service center. C-3PO was built by Anakin Skywalker out of parts from scrapped Cybot Galactica droids in one of Watto's junk piles. A similar protocol droid, C-3PX, was modified by Darth Maul to serve as an assassin droid. During the Galactic Civil War, Cybot Galactica collaborated with Kuat Drive Yards to make the all-terrain exploration droid. U-3PO served in the diplomatic corps of the Royal House of Alderaan during the Galactic Civil War, but eventually became a sleeper agent for the Galactic Empire. During the time of the Galactic Civil War, U-3PO was reprogrammed by Imperial agents to serve the New Order, which was the name primarily given to the political program and the ideology of Compnor adopted by the Galactic Empire and its successor states, the Imperial Remnant and Empire of the Hand. U-3PO served the New Order as an espionage droid, which were special Imperial droids manufactured by Cybot Galactica designed to look and function like standard protocol droids, they were sold to individuals under investigations where their special transmitters enabled them to relay important information to Imperial intelligence units. U-3PO was inserted into the Tantive IV's droid pool during the subjugation of Raltier, which initially occurred about three weeks prior to the Battle of Yavin in 0BBY, but an insurgency would go on for years afterwards. U-3PO later transmitted an S-Thread signal to the Empire. S-Threads were extremely small hyperspace tunnels used to ferry communications waves through. Due to their incredibly small dimensions, it was virtually impossible to intercept communications through an S-Thread. The only way to do so was to attach a listening device to the hyperwave transceivers responsible for managing information through the S-Threads. The signal allowed the Star Destroyer Devastator to track down the Tantive IV, thus allowing it to be attacked by the Devastator and boarded by Darth Vader and the 501st Legion. That's it for now. More information on the next U3PO card. And now it's the back side of the card, which is a puzzle piece that includes Princess Leia. Well, that's the card of the day. Look out for the next card. Thank you for watching Star Wars Obsessed Card of the Day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can also follow Star Wars Obsessed on Facebook and Instagram.